Hello dear, in this video I will talk about molecular docking and molecular dynamic simulation were performed uh, for your data and uh, here I am using protein and ligand uh, but if you follow the same uh, steps uh, you will be able to perform this analysis for your data okay so here we have a protein and a ligand and I will per first I, uh, I will perform molecular docking so for molecular docking I will use PyRx and uh, PyRx provides a graphical user interface and at the back end the algorithm is uh, uh, Autodoc Vina okay so uh, we will perform docking uh, using Autodoc Vina by PyRx okay so in PyRx uh, you will go to file and load molecule and you will load your receptor molecule and here the receptor is protein and then you will select this protein and right click here and go to autodoc and then make macromolecule okay after that you will go to this open bible tab and uh, load a molecule your ligand molecule right so after loading it uh, just right click here and click on minimize all and then again right click here and click convert all to autodoc ligand okay after that uh, select this ligand okay your ligand and uh, from macro molecule tab uh, you will select protein uh, the receptor molecule and then go to the vena wizard and then click on start forward and here click on maximize and then click on forward again so the docking of the separate molecule uh, with the ligand molecule will be started okay so after completion of docking you will see this kind of table binding up and the rms score and their modes binding up of each mode and uh, now uh, we need to uh, make a complex of our receptor molecule and ligand molecule uh, so that we can uh, prepare them for mo uh, for molecular dynamic simulation okay so we will close this pyrex and uh, then uh, you will go to the c drive and then users and then um, user name whatever uh, the name of your computer and uh, then MGL tools, IRX, macro molecule, and here you will find uh, a folder uh, you made uh, for your docking. Okay, so open here and then open this uh, protein file in PyMol, and uh, then just drag the ligand here, and the ligand will be attached here, and um, you can you can make a complex. Okay. Uh, then go to the file and export molecule click on save uh, now select pdb and this is our complex of uh, ready for molecular dynamic simulation okay so um, uh, that's docking and now uh, we will move uh, towards uh, uh, molecular dynamic simulation okay so here i have placed the, the this complex and uh, for molecular dynamic simulation we used uh, desmond Okay, so it is um, it is a package of Schrodinger, and uh, Maestro is the graphical user interface. So with which uh, we command the Desmond to perform molecular dynamic simulation. Okay, so this is the interface of Maestro, and uh, first of all uh, we will select the directory and change working directory. So in this folder we have our complex. Uh, first of all we will pre-process the complex for the molecular dynamic simulation so we will go to this protein preparation wizard and we will browse that complex and click ok ignore the warnings now we will first of all we will pre-process it with default settings ignore these warnings and uh, then go to refine and we will optimize and minimize the complex
okay when the optimized hydrogen bond job incorporated uh, then we will select the force field opls 2005 and then click on minimize After completion of minimization job, uh, we will prepare it for MD simulation. For that, we will use this system builder. And uh, here uh, we will select solid model TAB3P and show boundary box. Uh, the distance will be 10 angstrom and box A will be a thrombic. And then click on minimize volume. Okay. And here we will select the OPLS 2005 force field. Then go to the ions. And now uh, here we will uh, create uh, an excluded region of 20 angstrom uh, where we will place the ligand. So we will select the ligand, ligand molecule, and we will select this UNL and add it and OK. After that, we will recalculate the ions then add 0 0.15 uh, molar salt and then click on run so this will uh, start preparing uh, the box uh, for simulation okay so after uh, its completion we will save this complex we will select the full system And uh, then we will go to file and save project as and then name the project and save it. Then we will close the, this project. And now uh, we need to run the simulation. This, uh, the complex is ready for performing simulation. For that, uh, we will go to the molecular dynamic simulation tab. Here uh, we will import from file and go to browse and then complex. Uh, we, will, we will open this, uh, this same project and uh, then this first file with the uh, admin and then we will keep opening it and then uh, at la uh, in the last we will uh, see this file and then we will open it. Okay, so once it is loaded, uh, we will uh, write the time of simulation. Um, in nanoseconds and uh, then we will select the trajectory um, trajectory interval and the number of frames and if you want to uh, like customize any ensemble or uh, if, if you if you change the temperature or pressure okay and uh, then uh, after setting all these things just click on run and uh, then the simulation will be started okay, so after completion of simulation you will uh, find uh, this folder and all these files uh, in that folder and uh, now we need to analyze this uh, these results of simulation and uh, then uh, for, for, for that uh, we will go to the simulation event analysis and then we will browse the completed uh, simulation task so uh, in, in in the completed folder you will see this uh, you will see a file uh, the name of the uh, of your of your project and outdoor cms so you will open this file so after this, uh, this loading uh, we will calculate uh, we will perform multiple analysis like radius of gyration uh, RMSF, RMSD, hydrogen bond contacts, okay, and energy also. So uh, here I will calculate RMSD and this in similar fashion all other analysis will perform. So what we will do, we will select the protein first or the receptor ligand in your case. So uh, here we will select this uh, chain A which is a protein. Click on add and then OK. And uh, in the simulation event analysis tab, then click on add. This will be loaded into in the, um, into this field. And now we will select the ligand. And for ligand, we will go to the res, uh, residue, residue type, and the uh, UNK. Here the first one, UNK. And then click on add and click on OK. 
so the icon will be added and then click on add and it will be uh, shifted into this field now we will uh, similar fashion we will go for the rmsf uh, radius of generation hydrogen bonds and other analysis and then click on analyze all and then run and so this will start analyzing the rmsd and rmsf uh, all the analysis available in the in this tab Okay, so the, once the tag is removed, it means the analysis are completed. So the first one, first RMSD is concluding. You can also rename it. Um, this is your receptor molecule, and this one is your ligand molecule. And then you will select the first one, and, the, uh, and then the second one, and then you will go to the multiple lines per plot, and then click on analyze on time series. So here uh, we have a plot uh, of a protein like an RMSD and or receptor like an RMSD and then you can uh, like customize this plot uh, clicking on this icon uh, you can rename here that this is RMSD and uh, then you can change the style of the lines the blue one is for receptor molecule and the red one is for ligand molecule and then select line 2 and uh, click on pixels and then uh, this will be refined graph and then you can save it okay so in this fashion you can perform all other analysis so after completion of uh, simulation uh, we will find uh, this kind of folder and all these files uh, so to perform mmgdsa we used uh, schrodinger provided script so Right click here on this out file, click on properties and uh, go to security and here um, copy this object name, this file name along with this path and uh, then we have uh, we have this Schrodinger, uh, Schrodinger panel and here we will run this command run thermal underscore mmgbsa dot py and then we will paste the the whole path of that file for which we want to calculate the mmgbsa and then we need to name this file uh, name the results and this job and for that we will dash j and we will name uh, uh, the the project and and for that we will define the step size like like after how many nanoseconds we need to calculate the mmgbsa uh, or how many frames actually we will provide frame here okay so we want to calculate uh, in this uh, in this you can uh, customize it according to yourself but we want to calculate um, after uh, every 999 frames like at the zero nanosecond and at the 100 nanosecond right so after performing these parameters you just click hit enter and um, MMGBSA job will be started and um, your results uh, you can find these results uh, in, in this shared in your tab uh, like I have performed already so you will find these uh, these two rows uh, for uh, uh, with, with the multiple values of the energy and the first row is at 0 second the second one is at 100 and second or you can uh, in, uh, in other words you can say the first one is at the start of the simulation and the last one the second one is at the last at the end of the simulation okay thank you